What up? So I keep talking about road trips, right? Road trip this, road trip that. I drove the Domingo. I wanted that thing to go to 100 miles per hour, which looking back was asking a lot from a three-cylinder K-Van, basically. So in today's video, we're gonna put down the K-Vans, we're gonna put down the K-Cars, and we're gonna drive a car that was essentially made to go on road trips. And that car is this 1995 Mazda Bongo Friendy. So the reason I keep talking about road trips is because if you guys have been following the channel, I've probably gone on 10 road trips in maybe the last year. I love road trips. We went on a road trip in the Delica, the Miata, my K-Vans, we just went one on the Honda Life. I just love road trips. Like for me, it isn't even so much about like getting to my destination. It's about driving one of my own personal vehicles and like the unknown throughout the way. I could stop at the middle of nowhere I-95 little restaurant and have the greatest wings of my life. In comparison to flying where I know I'm gonna stay in the airport, I'm gonna go to security, I'm gonna go to my destination and that's not really fun. And most of my road trips growing up have been in cars like this, you know, a new car, safe car, a reliable car, something you pick up from a rental company. And these are cool, don't get me wrong, it's definitely the best way to do it but for me i want to go on a road trip and stuff like this i want to go to road trip in k vans deck vans k cars you name it a car that has a fun driving experience because when i get to my destination do i want to drive around miami in a toyota corolla or do i want to drive in miami in a k truck for the longest it's been a real struggle to find a car that is also enjoyable while still being practical and realistic for multiple road trips so that's why i think this friendy is going to be a very good video before we get into interior check out these stickers this one is my favorite by far since 1996 got some cool stuff back here but in the van you have a seven seater this one comes with door leaves which i really like you have two tables back here to eat on. I'm gonna show you guys that. And then probably one of my favorite features by far, besides the automatic pop top, you have power curtains. So I put the right side down and left the left side up. Some amenities back here. You got some storage, some cubbies, an ashtray. That's for the power curtains. You get a speaker back there, two seat belts. You got an armrest, which is nice. This seat folds down flat if you need some additional storage. Now let's work our way in here. On these seats, you have three seat belts, another armrest. You have your AC vents up there, AC controls down here. Again, some additional storage. That's for the power curtains on that side. And then I saw a couple videos that said these were seats. And then I saw a couple other videos that said this is to put your foot on. I haven't figured out how to keep my body weight on here, so I'm not really sure what these are. Someone comment below. Although this has an automatic pop top, I think one of my favorite features is that if you don't want to put the pop top up, let's say you want to be a little more discreet, you can just put these seats up. Is this one down? You want me to take off these headrests? I don't know why. Because it, it, it's part of the bed. How could this help the bed right now? I'll put this under that the seat. That becomes the bed, the driver's seat. The, this passenger seat. This comes down. But this is already the bed. It goes Like, here, hold this, look. <laughs> this is already the bed. Hypothetically, if I want to sleep, I'm already sleeping. Well, yeah. Well, yeah, this way though. With this way, and these would be your. Uh... Yeah. I need more bed. <laughs> if you need it, I guess I'll do it. Let's those see. actually become part of the bed as well. Up? Yeah. So put the back. No, no. Um. For first of all, this back piece, the foot piece goes down. Okay. Yep. Now correct. Either or, and then you recline the seat all the way down and slide that all the way forward. There we go. And then. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> now slide it in place. Lock it in place. There you go. <laughs> this is, I didn't know it did that. I knew it did this because this is good enough. You can sleep two adults back here. I easily. know, what if you got three kids or two kids, I mean, like. And then another feature that whoever had this in Japan made sure it was the proper camper. And now for the ultimate privacy. There we go. Now you're in the ultimate, ultimate camper. You don't see any light. And just like that, your interior is back to normal. Now let's pop the hood. It's a little cake carish in my opinion. If you're not too familiar with the bongo, you might expect something different under here. But under the hood, there's no motor. You get two batteries, an air intake, and that's pretty much it. The motor's actually in between the seats. And to get access to it, you have to remove this, which fun fact, this is definitely off a of Mazda Miata. You twist this off. You twist this off. This comes completely up. You lift this up, pop that off. Ta-da! You got your big boy turbo diesel. 
Looks like it has a new oil filter down there too. Shout out to JDM Repair Hawaii. But the belts look new. You can see a fan right there. Everything is pretty straight in front of your face. I wouldn't say it's too hard to work on this. You got the dipstick right here. Refill your oil right there. And then on the driver's side, you got the cool side of the engine. Now let's start this thing. 130,000 kilometers. Fires right up. Has power folding mirrors, which will always be one of my favorite JDM mods. Also has an ETC reader. But now, the moment we've all been waiting for. Let's go in here, press this button. You can start to hear it beep. You can see the wheel back there. Boom, stop beeping. It's 100% up and look at that. I keep talking about road trips, sleep in the back of the Domingo, sleep in the back of cave end, even sleep in the back of this. But that, that's the real road trip camper experience. Now let me show you how you get in here. So there's a couple ways to access it. You have this one little point here and then you can push this up completely. The beauty about it is that it's actually on a spring. So if I push that up, it just holds up like that. I don't have to worry about it crashing on my head. And now I can comfortably hop up here, put this down and look at that. I'm 5'9 for reference, and let's see, how easy is it to lay down back here? Oh yeah, I can fit two adults back here, look at this. This is full body extension, and I still have a lot of space right here. I get a light, so I'm able to edit my YouTube videos up here. This, I'm not really sure what its function is, but in my opinion, it's like a drink holder. So you just open this up and I say, hey, can you pass me a beer? And then they just shoot it up here. That way they don't have to open this entire thing to pass it to me. It's just a cool, quick drink holder. And then let's just say you're out in nature and you want to open this up. You want to get a view of your surroundings. All you would do is just zip this completely to the end, open this up and look at that. Got some nice fresh air. I am falling in love with this car. This is a bad idea, but look at all this nature. And then if you're expecting to get bit by mosquitoes, no, no, no. You got this net right here. I can see it now. Parked up in the middle of nowhere, next to a waterfall, editing my YouTube videos on top of my Mazda Bongo Friendy. If this isn't the life, I don't know what it is. And with all this closed after a good night's rest on top of your Mazda Bongo Friendy, if you want to be woken up by the sunset, all you gotta do is pull this down and you get a beautiful view of outside. Now to get down, there's two ways. You can open this. If you're a small child, you can easily jump down. And then these little yellow points right here, they're easy to grab. You lift them up, the shocks grab them, and then you easily, it's not even that big of a fall. Like I could, let me see. Yeah, it's really easy. It's maybe like a six inch drop. And then that's how it looks completely up. Let's do a 360 right now. Mazda Bongo Friendy with the auto free top. This is really what I need in my life. I need this to be like my daily and then I just have a K car on the side. The skylight has to be closed, that lock cancel button, and then now, you hear it beeping? It's done. It comes down halfway and then, and then press it again. Ah, uh, yeah, I hear it. Yeah. Now it's And that's a safety feature, so just in case if somebody's hand is there, oh, it won't okay. just come down all It won't just go to there. So it'll come down, beep. And then, okay, I'll, I'll clear and then close yeah. it again. Wow, that's smart. Yeah. Now let me drive it. First time driving a Mazda Bongo. The only real diesel car I really ever drove, honestly, was my L400 Delica, which I'm pretty sure has a pretty similar motor. So let's see how this feels. Just for the hell of it, acceleration test. smooth which is more important than anything you know what time it is we're getting on the highway and we're gonna see can the friendy go 120 although speed really isn't too important because unlike k vans unlike the domingo this thing has more than enough room i can fit everything i would ever need to go on a road trip but i am still curious so we're currently going 80 kilometers an hour which is 50 miles per hour let's get 
give it a little bit of gas. I'm not really punching it. We're climbing up there. We're now going 62. Feels fine. Look, not even touching the wheel. Brakes work good. Let me put this thing up because I can't even see behind me, which is super dangerous. All right, let's switch lanes. Give it some gas. with Hawaii it's just so hard to get up there on the speeds that's why k-trucks are so amazing because like I could never really go 120 like even if I wanted to I'd have to be doing something illegal and dangerous just to like swerve around all these cars just to go 70 miles per hour which isn't worth it like it isn't worth it at all now that I'm driving the car I'm really digging the interior this is perfect for a double den so I can have my Apple CarPlay my GPS over here while I'm going on my road trip this works AC blows ice cold this is my coin holder. I know people call it an ashtray, but this is where I'm gonna put my coins. Then you have this little storage cubby there. You can put some chargers, some snacks. The car is idling and driving fine. Let's put it in sport mode, S2. See if that changes anything with the RPMs. Although this isn't a sports car, our car is supposed to have a really fun driving experience. I actually love that the engine is under the seat because now the hood is extra short. And I kind of get that same roller coaster feel as when I'm driving K vans. And it is still turbo diesel and picks up. Like, that was a good 60 to 100 kilometers, just like that. Before I end this video, let's get one last look at the Friendy. Tell me that blue doesn't pop in the sun. It's like a nice Tiffany blue with a gray. And I know I say this about basically every car, but I could see this in my future. I could definitely see this in my future. These aren't too expensive. They're not as big. The interior is spacious. I can use this as my daily while I rent on a K car. And more importantly, I can sleep up here. Pop top coming down. My love for this Mazda Bongo going up. And if you haven't already, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Remember the name. This is for the fame.